Namaste. Today, in this video, we are going to derive the equation for finding the differentiation of the equation. Okay. So, let us first write the Taylor series f of x plus h is equals to fx plus h f dash x plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash x plus dot 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 okay let it be equation 1 so this is the Taylor series so by taking the lower power of h and neglecting the higher power of h since the h is very small value so we neglect it value and we get f of x plus h equals to f of x plus h f dash x okay so we get these terms and from this we can write f of f dash x is equals to f x plus h minus fx by h. So, this is the formula to find the derivative, first derivative of the function and it is known as forward difference quotient. Similarly, when we write x minus h, it becomes f of x minus h equals to f of x minus h f dash x plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash x plus dot 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 dot. Okay. The Taylor series becomes like this when we write x plus h is converted into x minus h. So, similar process, we neglect the higher power of h, it gives f of x minus h is equals to f of x minus h f dash of x. So, we get it as f dash x is equals to minus f x minus h plus f x by h. So, this is the formula to find a first order derivative of a function and it is also known as backward difference quotient okay now when we add equation 1 and sorry when we subtract equation 1 and equation 2 we get f x plus h minus f x minus h equals to 2 h f dash x okay when we subtract this equation 1 and equation 2 we get f x plus h minus f of x minus h equals to 2 f dash x so we get f dash x is equals to f of x plus h minus f of x minus h divided by 2 h and this is also a formula to calculate the derivative, first derivative, derivative of a function. It is known as central difference quotient. Okay. So these are the formula to find the derivative of a function. So let us consider an example. F of x is equals to x square okay and we have to find the value of f dash 1 where h is 0 0.001 okay let us suppose an example like this so f dash x let us first use forward difference quotient okay so f dash x is equals to f of x plus h minus fx divided by h and it is equals to fx is x square so f of x plus h is x plus h 
whole square minus fx is x square and h. So we substitute the value of h and we have to find the value of f1. So, so f dash 1 is equals to 1 plus 0 0.001 whole square minus 1 square divided by 0 0.001 okay it gives the value 2.001 so this is the value we get by using forward difference quotient similarly when we use backward difference quotient okay so what is the formula of backward difference quotient this one f dash Okay, one directly use one minus f one minus h okay zero point zero zero one plus f of zero f of one divided by zero point zero zero one. When we use this, we get it as one point nine nine. Okay, and when we use central difference quotient. Okay, we get f dash 1 is equals to, okay, f 1 plus 0 0.001 minus f of 1 minus 0 0.001 divided by 0 0.001. We get it as 2. And we get 2.001 by forward difference. 1.99 by backward difference and 2 by central difference. So when we directly, directly calculate f dash 1, we get 2. So that means central difference quotient is much accurate than forward difference and backward difference quotient. So similarly, let us generate the differential quotient for second degree equation or second degree function. We know that from Taylor series, f of x plus h is equals to f of x plus h f dash x plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash x s yes? plus dot 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 1 and f x minus h is equals to f x minus h f dash x plus h square by 2 factorial f dash double x plus dot 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 okay so by adding 1 and 2 we get as f x plus h plus f x minus h equals to 2 f x plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash x okay we get it and from it we can write f double dash x is equals to f x plus h plus f x minus h minus 2 f x okay this goes decide divided by what will be it at square okay this will be at square and it goes upward so into 2 so this is the formula for second order derivative okay in this way we generate the equation for second order derivative and we have used central difference quotient okay we have used central difference quotient okay in next video i will be continuing with numerical integration okay how to calculate the integration of a given function or given expression thank you and bye bye